I want to tell you about the Rat Park experiment because this was a fundamental breakthrough dealing with addiction. There was a psychologist, a Canadian psychologist called Bruce Alexander. Up to this point, people believed that addiction was a physiological thing. And many people still have a misconception that it's a physiological thing. But Bruce Alexander set up the Rat Park. And what he had was, it wasn't this big, by the way, a huge area, this area called the Rat Park. And in that Rat Park, he had rats. And he had two water bottles. One water bottle was dosed with, can't say on social media, but I think that gives it another away. And then another water bottle that was pure water bottle. And the rats, when they were on their own or two together, would choose the water bottle that was laced, dosed. Get it? However, what Bruce Alexander did is he created a bigger rat park and he put multiple rats in there and he gave them things to do. Toys to climb over, things to climb over, tunnels, bridges, all sorts of things to keep them psychologically occupied, to keep them socially active with other rats. And here's the most interesting thing. The rats began to drink more simply the bottles of water that were pure. They hardly drank the bottles that were laced. They were drinking the pure water. So what did this show? This showed that if you socially interact, if you have more environmental things to do, the propensity to use is radically diminished. Why is that important to you? Because if you fill your life socializing with people that don't use, if you fill your life environmentally, doing things actively, then your ability to use is radically diminished. It's a really, really important experiment, the Rat Park.